So I was asked to do um, an eye look that was in one of my other um, videos. I think it was the one a couple of times ago. So uh, let's get started. So I'm going to use my NARS Larger Than Life Longwear Eyeliner in Via Veneto to tight line. I always tight line my, li my lines, my eyes first. This is a great pencil. You can use whatever black longwear eyeliner that you like that doesn't irritate your eyes. Looking down into a mirror here. So if I go out of frame every now and again I do both sides. I get as close to the lashes as possible. Like that. And then I close in tight line. That way I'm kind of doing the bottom as well. Actually, now's a good time to do this. <laughs> I should do this before I started. Um, I went yesterday and I had the lash dip reapplied. Um, she had a look at my lashes and she couldn't believe how fast it had worn off. So no wonder I was feeling a little lackluster about the lashes. Um, it really didn't wear like it's supposed to wear. Um, so she reapplied it heavier this time. And I had some major um, problems with my eyes watering. Particularly this one. So I have little or no mascara of the semi-permanent mascara on my outer lashes which are pretty sparse. My outer lower lashes which are pretty sparse anyway. Every time she put the stuff on my eyes would water like the dickens like I was watching a real tearjerker. And um, I think it just wouldn't adhere. Um, that's something to keep in mind if you're thinking about this. If you have very sensitive eyes maybe this is not for you. It feels... Uh, not too crunchy, but you know there was something on there when you touch them. Um, I'm much happier with this application. I can see it that it's a little more dramatic. It just gives you definition. A little bit of volume, but mainly definition. Okay, so that's uh, my lash dip. Moving along, moving along. I'm going to use matte shadows to begin with. So I'm going to use my tried and tested classic nudes from Physicians Formula. Matte shadows. I'm going to take um, my MAC blending brush and I'm going to take this color red here on the tip of that brush and I'm going to apply it just in kind of just in and above the crease. I like to use a little bit of product and going all the way in. Not all the way up to the brow though. So you're going to do that on both sides. All the way in. I'm starting with mattes. Um, okay, so once I have that done, I'm going to wipe that brush off. And I'm now going to take the darker shade in there. Pick up a little bit on the... Pick up a little bit on the tip of my brush. And I'm going to try and work that. Not trying, I am going to work that. Kind of in a V. Working down and about a third of the way into, right into the crease. So you're creating a V that way and into the crease. Same on the other side. I would define this palette as a warm matte neutral palette. It's one of my favorite matte neutrals. So you're kind of creating the shape right there. No shimmer yet. Shimmer's coming. Now, we're gonna start darkening up. From my uh, Wet n Wild Fergie collection, this is the Center Stage Collection Photo Op Eyeshadow. This is an amazing little palette. If you happen to see this lying around, 
It's inexpensive. It's got some great pigmented colors. I'm going to go in with this. It looks to be a shimmery dark brown, but it's not as shimmery as you think. Now to keep it from um, sliding around, in other words, I don't want it too sharp, so I'm not going to use tape, but I am going to use a square of tissue, and I'm going to fold it in half, so I have a kind of a soft edge, and I'm going to place that kind not kind of, I am going to place that there. I'm going to use a pencil brush by MAC, and I'm going to pick up a little bit of that dark, looks to be a shimmery color, brown on the tip of my brush, and I'm going to take that and I'm going to start really defining that outer V. This is all about a slow build up of color. Now when I take that away you see that there's quite a sharp line. Now I'm going to take what's left on the brush and bring it down. I'm actually going to pick up a little bit more because it didn't I don't have a huge amount. Now you can see that I've come a little bit under that line. There's a reason for that. I'm now going to join it up softly on the outer V. As you can see, I'm just going to bring it in. Nothing too... Now I'm still applying colour, so I haven't blended any of that in yet. The tissue is just to make sure that I didn't bring that colour down too far. And then I'm going to just bring that colour into the lashes a bit more. Now I'm going to take... You can either use the brush, brush that you just used to, to um, apply that mid-brown mid to blend, to start blending that darker shadow into the crease and onto the lid, so your outer So it's all about blendy blendy now, isn't it? I'm going to take a um, flat shading brush and I'm just going to blend that out under there as well. You don't want any harsh lines, you don't want that, to be that outer dark colour to be too dark. It needs to be graduated in. So just keep applying. I didn't dip that in again. I just applied what was left on the brush. I'm going to buff that. Don't worry about the lid area because we're still going to apply our little bit of um, goldy shimmer. Now if you think there's too much on your brush, you can take another shading brush. This one is from Sephora and it is a... Uh, can't read it. There's nothing on it. It's going to use that to soften that line there. Now you want to do the same on the other side. So you've blended that and that. I'm going to make sure that they're Nice and even. Blending is your friend. He's your Oathbush friend. I'm going to go back in. I keep wiping my brush. So I'm going to go back in with a little bit of that um, matte first colour that we put in to define the crease. And I'm just going to blend out that top line here. Adding a little more warmth. It's still not all the way up. It just helps blend that line out again. I'm going to reapply. This time I'll use the flower one. I'm going to apply it to my lower waterline. Make sure I'm getting that extra little bit there. It's 
So you see, it just gives it a little bit more definition. Now I'm going to take a clean, flat shader brush with some of that really light shade on the side of my brush. And I'm going to place that under the brow. You can see that quite clearly that that is under the brow. This white has a, or this light color has a little bit of fallout. Don't worry about it. Easy cleanup. Same on the other side. So you're highlighting just under that. So you're going to highlight that. You're going to take the brush with really nothing on it and blend the darker shade into the light shade. Because I just keep blending because I don't want any harsh lines. Then I'm going to take a shimmery from the Victoria's Secret palette. The Victoria's Secret palette is called Deh, Eye Contact. I'm going to take this very, very light shade here on a pencil brush. Pick up quite a bit of it. Tap it off. I'm going to apply that to my inner tear duct just to brighten everything up. I find the shadows in this palette to be quite um, hard. So you do have to kind of swirl it around in there. But as you can see, we're just highlighting there. And then if you want to get real fancy schmancy, take a small detail brush. This is a um, accent brush from uh, Real Techniques. And pick up that same light shimmery color on, this, on the tip of it, the very tip. And at the highest point of your eyebrow, right here, just add a little bit more of a shimmery highlight. Just when the light catches it. Same there. Just add a little something something when the light catches it. Now, so you could leave it just like that. It would be hunky-dory. Um, but I think what made this particular look pop is what I do next. I take the color Baked by Urban Decay. It's very similar to Half Baked, but I think this is a little bit more gold or bronze. I take a clean, flat shader brush and I pick it up on the side of my brush and I'm going to apply that from where I applied the highlight out. Don't worry about getting it flush up to the lashes because I am going to apply a little bit more um, liquid liner. Same on the other side. This color for me is just amazing. It makes this look so pretty. You want to get a clean blending brush and just blend the edge of that. keeping it below the crease. Then you can pick up more of this dark color or the matte dark color on the tip of your blending brush and just intensify that outer V to kind of met, met, Mitch to kind of match the intensity of that shadow that you've just, that baked shadow that you've just added. Then you take your, your clean blending brush again and blend the outer edges of that into that warm color. And now, the final touch. I'm going to take Milani iTech Expert liquid eyeliner in black as black and I'm going to apply this as close I'm kind of pressing it down like flat Is that in? just as close as those lashes will allow all the way out Get right in there, Any time, anywhere there's a gap, use that liquid liner to fill it. So it's a really thin liquid liner line, but it goes all the way in. Mm -hmm. 
And what you can do, and what I like to do, is I like to take the side of that pen like that, following the outer thing of my eye, and just give myself a little wing, and then join that wing up with the liner. Hope you saw all that. And I don't like to faff around with it too much. It's kind of um, a real smoky eye, but it works for day. I don't know, I like it anyway. I like it for day, so what am I gonna do? Again, on the other side, you're gonna take that liquid liner. So that's, uh, that's pretty, that's pretty much the eye look. That, uh, pearly color. I love that Victoria's Secret shimmer. It is stunning. Um, I have the stuff on my lashes, so I'm not adding any mascara. If I wanted this uber dramatic look, I could add lashes, more lashes, maybe. Yeah. Uh, I need to add some lipstick. So let me go get a lipstick. I'm going to use Hue from MAC, one of my faves ever. So there you have it. There's the, uh, the eye look, the requested eye look. I hope that is what you were looking for. It's very similar anyway, but that is definitely the color I put across my lid. Okay guys, I hope that was helpful, give you an idea. I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.